Fred, do we know the cause of multiple sclerosis? Short answer, no. We don't know the cause. It's, it's been interesting because there's been an uh, enormous amount of research going on. We've learned a great deal of the elements that we think are involved in the cause, but the actual cause we don't know. As you mentioned, there's inflammation uh, that occurs within the central nervous system and that we think this is autoimmune or at least that your immune system is upregulated or hyperactive and attacking your tissue, in this case, the brain and spinal cord, but we don't know what causes that. There is a genetic element to it, although it's small. So the familial risk is greater in individuals when MS is in the family, but still quite low. There's also an environmental component that seems to be clear, but we don't know what it is. We know that you can alter your risk of developing multiple sclerosis by moving from a high-risk area to a low-risk area as a child, but not as an adult. Are there some areas of the world where MS is more common? Yes, so MS is, is most common in Northern Europe and North America. Uh, less common around the equator, less common um, in Asia, less common in Africa. Um, but that's changing some. And we don't know whether that's because the disease is changing or migration patterns are changing. But there are groups, there are racial groups where it's more common. It's more common in Caucasians than any other racial group. And so that speaks in part to the genetic element, but it also may speak to the environmental element because people of different races live in different areas. Um, but those two end up being uh, very important, but we don't know what's affecting them. So for example, in the environmental issue, a number of things have been, have been brought to bear in terms of research, including viruses, any number of viruses have been looked at. None has yet stood the test of time, uh, although Epstein-Barr virus is an interesting one not yet clear that the association is really cause and effect. Smoking looks to be an environmental agent that's, that has an effect in MS. Um, vitamin D may be an vi environmental agent that has an effect, and then there may be others that we just don't know yet. But I understand that even if there are identical twins, if one has MS, the other one doesn't necessarily get MS and has the same genetic material. Right, so the, envir the, the identical twin uh, story is interesting because it supports both the genetic element and the environmental element. A genetic element is supported by the fact that the concordance rate, the chance of both twins developing multiple sclerosis, is about 30%. When one has it, there's a 30% chance that it'll show up in the other twin. That's clearly higher than any other group, so brother-sister uh, chances are only like 2 to 5%. So that suggests that genes are involved to a degree, but it's only 30%, rather than being 100%, and as you said, they're genetically identical. Um, and so there's got to be some other element environmentally that affects one twin and not the other uh, that leads them to express the disease. Do we have any way yet to stop a person from getting MS? Not that we know of. And we don't know when it starts, so it's a little hard to know how or when to stop, and we don't know enough about the, the underlying cause. There's many things, as we'll end up discussing, that we can treat with the disease, but not to stop it.